Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from a brand new Let's Play Terraria 1.3 series. And guys, I'm so excited about this series right now that I'm actually shaking. It's, it's kind of crazy. You see, Terraria was the first game that I played on YouTube many, many years ago. So it actually has a very special place in my heart and in my soul. And I absolutely loved that first series of Terraria that I made. So I am super hyped to be playing the game with you guys again. It is going to be absolutely amazing, man. And also, guys, this series is basically a double whammy of awesomeness for me personally. You see, I never actually played Terraria 1.2. I know that's kind of hard to believe, but I started playing loads and loads of Minecraft and kind of forgot about Terraria. But now that I'm going to be playing Terraria 1.3 again, it means I'm going to be experiencing the awesomeness of Terraria 1.2 at the same time as the epicness of Terraria 1.3. And my brain is literally going to explode from all the, the joyous, wondrous Terraria goodness that has come in my way. Oh man, guys, it is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to get started. But guys, the most exciting thing for me about this whole freaking thing is that I have the opportunity through the power of the internet and the power of YouTube to share this experience with you guys from all over the world. And you know something? I've got a feeling in my heart that we're going to have an absolutely incredible time together in our new Terraria universe. It is going to be so awesome. And so cyber dogs and friends from all over the world, without further ado, I hope you got some tasty ass beverages and some crunchy ass snacks because it is time to play some Terraria 1.3. <laughs> Many years ago, when I was a mere cyber pup playing with Lego on the floor of my lounge, my mama dog taught me a very important life lesson. She said, Ren dog, one day thou shalt play a game called Terraria, and in that game thou shalt wield an Afro hairstyle. Heed this well, my son. It is the most important lesson you'll ever learn. Thank you, mama dog. <laughs> Check it out guys, just finished making my character, looking awesome, Ren Dog. We are rocking an afro just like we did back in the day in our first series. Loving my Cyber Dog red coat too. Check it that man, looking awesome. Rocking some Nike pumps too. Hmm, looking good, I'm ready to rumble. I've also just created a world for us guys. It's going to be a normal world, it is large. It is created on the 30th of June 2015, the day Terraria 1.3 was released. How awesome is that? Oh man, I am so excited. Let's hit the play button. Let's get into it, man. Ho, oh, let's hope we spawn on a beautiful world. Oh, look at this. What a wonderful little spawn area. Usually you just spawn on some flat land. This is glorious. Hello there, guide. What is your name? Wyatt. Oh, Wyatt, you've got a bow now, do you? Well, oh, that's cute. I still hate your ass. Freaking butthole. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to Terraria 1.3. This is so awesome. I'm, oh man, I've been waiting for this day literally for a long time. And I mean long. Slam! Back up, please. I'm busy getting myself some copper. My name is Ren Dark. I'm a YouTuber. If you guys have just stumbled across this video from somewhere on the internet, I thought what we could do actually to start off this uh, season and to start off this episode is a little bit of introductions. Because I know that some of you guys will uh, not know me or, or not have found my channel before. Maybe you have found this video from a search or from somebody else's video. Who knows how you've landed? I'm happy you have, man. I hope you stick around. My name is Rendog. I play mostly Minecraft on YouTube. But as I mentioned, I started my YouTube um, experience, my YouTube journey playing Terraria. Which is why I'm super pumped. I'm not going to open this chest now, by the way. You guys are going to have to wait, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you sweat. <laughs> um... But I started on YouTube playing Terraria. I am from a country called South Africa. Some of you guys know, uh, may know about South Africa. It is, of course, the birthplace of Nelson Mandela, the great man. And I was born in a town called Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein is... Uh, the meaning of Bloemfontein in the, in the Afrikaans language is literally translated to flower fountain. How cool is that, right? And here's a fun fact for you. I was born in the same city as J.R.R. Tolkien. So, you know, that's pretty sweet, right? 
<laughs> yeah, hell yeah, man. I think that's pretty awesome. But here, I, I don't live in South Africa. I live in London in England. I've been living in England now for about uh, almost 10 years. Squirrel, you better back up, son. You do not want to come here. You do not. You. I suggest you go the other way. Don't, don't come here. You are too cute. I can't take the cuteness. I will slay you. Oh, you have messed with the... You do... Tell your friends to stay out of my freaking zone. This is a no cute zone up in here, man. Nothing cute can come in here or they're going to die. That's, that's the way it is. Okay? No squirrels, no bunnies. Nothing cute in the vicinity or else there's going to be hell to pay. Slam, what's cracking? Good to see you again. It's been a couple years since we uh, last met. Give me your freaking gel. Thank you. Um, man, distracted by cuteness. <laughs> uh, but yes, guys, I have been living in the UK now for about nine years. I absolutely love it here. I have been doing YouTube for about four years now, which is absolutely crazy to me. And uh, yeah, it's I'm so excited about this series, guys. In fact, I haven't been this hyped about a series in a very, very long time. Um, I'm, I just can't wait to get stuck into the game. There's so much new stuff in Terraria 1.3. Look at even just the new effects. When you pick up uh, coins, there's that like, dring, that glimmering golden um, thing that happens. How sweet is that? That is so sweet. But you know what, guys? We're still doing introductions, even though I've been slightly distracted. I'd love to know where all of you guys are from. Why don't you let me know in the comments section below? I'd love to get a feel of where everybody watching this video is from all over the world. Because you know what? The amazing thing about YouTube is, it is global, man. Despite all of the wars and all of the bad things that happen in the world, we can all come together as a human race right here on YouTube and enjoy some epic games like Terraria. So let me know. Where are you from, my friends? All right, guys. The time has come. I know that I've been driving your OCD crazy. We are going to crack open this chest and hope to get something so we... Kaplooey! Hmm. A boomerang? Oh, that is a very excellent weapon to get right away. Shine potion also. Wow, we lucked out. Shine potion. We could go spelunkering pretty early with this shine potion. And this boomerang gives us a ranged weapon right off the bat. So, man, I told you guys. Didn't I tell you that I had a feeling that uh, we were going to have some seriously awesome times in this Terraria universe. I told you. I told you. Check it out, man. Boomerang action. Boom. Wyatt, your butthole. I'm going exploring. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll be back. I might come and back and save you. I don't really like you that much, though. Your hairstyle is way worse than mine. I mean, mine is, mine is sweet. Now, why did I choose an afro? Well, the honest truth is I've always wanted an afro. I've got like super straight blonde hair that doesn't even curl when it's long. And I've always, always wanted an afro. So you know what? I'm a rockin' afro right here in Terraria. Kind of like a, you know, it's like a second life, a second life thing, right? I get to rock an afro, man. Check it out. It is sweet. Now, let's talk a bit about our goals for the series. That's probably important. The first thing that I'm going to do in this episode is just explore the landscape. Let's see what we can find. We've already found a boomerang in a chest, which is fantastic, actually. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Looks to me like the copper looks a lot better too, right? It's more, it's more blingy, which is awesome. Oh, hello, Slam. Say hello to my little friend. It's called a boomerang. It's called a butterang. <laughs> Bam. Nice. Man, I'm so happy I got this boomerang. Um, I'm going to explore the surface of this land. We're in a, in a, in a large world here, right? So this is going to be a big one. There is going to be a lot of exploring to do. I've chosen a large world because it fits in very nicely with my primary goal for this 1.3 series, guys. I'm not really a Terraria player who's interested in like getting the most Ember weapons or, you know, making the most efficient farms or anything like that. I play this game because I love the game itself. I love the art. I love the music. I love the sounds, the comedy. I love everything about it. And what I love most about it is building beautiful things in the world. I want to be able to build some amazing, beautiful structures is going to be my primary goal uh, for the series. Now, the very first thing that we're going to build is going to be a little bit weird, but weird is good, right? I mean, we could just build like a square house with some rooms in it. A room for that sexy ass nurse to come and uh, heal our wounds, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but we're not going to do that. Our first house is going to be a tribute to our first Terraria series way back in the day. We're going to be building 
A house called the Fro Dome. <laughs> oh yes. I'm going to build a house that basically looks like my Fro. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. I know, I know it's kind of weird. I'm a kind of weird guy though. So if you've just joined me, welcome to the weirdness. <laughs> We're going to build a house designed to look like our Afro. We're also going to be building some other sweet things because we are Terraria PIMPs. We're going to build a pimp cane and a whole bunch of other awesome stuff, man. But yeah, first goal, first build, uh, Frodome. <laughs> Frodome version 2.0. Uh, after that, I think we'll branch out and I want to try and build... Oh, duck. You freaking duck. Back up. I'm warning you. Back up. Uh, I'm warning you. Okay. Okay. He listened. He listened and he lived. That's that's right, duck. You keep flying. You keep... Oh, okay. Fine. You want to land? Well, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> you... Da oh, no. You did not just sidestep my boomerang, duck. Duck, I will teach you the meaning of pain. I'm gonna teach you the pain. <laughs> Man, I owned that duck. Um, one shot at him in the face. Sweet. Now, these slimes are causing me some problems here, man. Get out of here. Um, all right. Well, it looks like our exploration has come to an end on this side. There seemed to be a giant cliff on that side. All right. Well, we're gonna have to scale that at some point, but I suggest we head all the way to the right. We're gonna have to set up at some point, though, make some sort of a house. I'm really happy with that spawn location that we started in, actually, um, because we started right above a nice little cave system. What we could potentially do is set up in that cave system. Give me your, give me your gel, please. Thank you. Need that gel to make torches, of course. And I'm conscious, actually, that we haven't cut down a lot of trees, so let's get going on that. Um, I was talking about goals, wasn't I, before I was distracted by that freaking duck. So the goal is, the first uh, goal is, of course, to, to build the Frodome. Now, I want to get the Frodome built quite quickly because i got some good news for you, my friends. We're going to have some visitors in this series. Not going to be saying who's going to come for visiting, but we're going to have some friends visiting us. And uh, I want to, you know, when they come and visit, I want them to have a nice place to sit. We can have a cup of tea, have a chat. And we're going to be visiting some peeps too. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, you know, Terraria is an amazing uh, sandbox single-player game, but it's also a game that is really, you know, really well shared with friends, uh, if that was even English. I speak English. I think I speak English. <laughs> uh, but I want to make sure that we have a nice little place for our friends to come and visit us, man. Oh, Slime, you are just... Oh, uh, isn't that cute? He's jumping through our afro. Like a boss, basically. Oh, Squirrel. <sighs> Ready, Slade, what? Okay, you, you know, you know what? You're just going to take it. Just, just take it. There we go. Just take it. You know what, guys? We're going to have to head back to spawn because I feel like the sun is starting to set. I kind of want to go down that hole there underneath that giant tree that we just passed. I know you guys have been shouting. Rendal, go down there, man. There might be a chest. We got lots of time on our hands, guys. We got many, 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 many episodes to come. Much exploring to do. Not much exciting to the left of the map, unfortunately. I was hoping to find a desert so that we could uh, get some cactuses. Make some cactus armor. Slip our body into that slimy cactus juice. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Exfoliation. <laughs> That's what you get. But check it out, guys. This little place seems pretty good to set up for the first time, right? We need to get Wyatt down here, though. Uh, but this seems like a pretty nice place to set up, I suppose. We can definitely, uh, you know, build some walls here. That's going to stop the undead hordes getting in. But let's head all the way to the right, see if there's anything of interest in the immediate vicinity. Now, I've got a couple of ideas that I wanted to share with you. Bunny, die, you bastard. <laughs> About 1.32. And I, I know that uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys have been following the hype for Terraria 1.3, but there is some amazing stuff coming. Things like portal guns and so on. And my thinking in this series, and there is another beautiful tree here, actually. You know what? I kind of feel like setting up a little building on top of that that first branch. That seems like a nice little spot for a first house, right? Yeah, let's do that, man. Wyatt, I don't really care about him. He can he can die in, in the in the, the middle of the night. I'm I'm not too bothered to be honest. Let's get into our inventory and uh, get ourselves up to this little branch over here. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's set up a little house on top of here, man. This is a nice little spot to start. 
Um, but with the portal gun, guys, it gives us the opportunity to actually explore the world all over the place and be able to warp from one side of the world to the other. So here's what I'm thinking. And uh, now's your opportunity to help me make the series uh, into something awesome. Remember, guys, we're building this Terraria universe together, right? And I'm going to be reading the comments like crazy. And I'm going to be following your guys' advice. If you guys want to help me out too, do let me know. Because I am a bit of a Terraria noob. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a, a crazy noob. But I didn't play Terraria 1.2 as I, as I mentioned before. So I have a lot of learning to do. And please do be patient with the Rendog, man. I know that some of you guys out there are Terraria pros. You know, just uh, take it easy, guys. Take it easy on the Ren Dog. You know, uh, I'm go it's gonna be it's gonna be slow starting for me, but I promise you that I'm gonna do my best to do as well as I can. But uh, yeah, one of my primary goals is to make a couple of towns or a couple of cities all over the place, and then be able to portal gun between them. I don't even know if that's gonna be possible, but if it is gonna be possible, that's what I'm gonna be doing, and it's gonna be awesome. Right, let's make a crafting table, and I think we've dilly dallied enough. Uh, <laughs> so far, let's get down to some serious business. Um, let's get our crafting table down here. And I kind of want to get rid of this horrible, ugly thing that I built. Um, you know, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have to get down there. Maybe make a rope. Can we make rope? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right, you know what I'm going to do, guys? It's going to be like a really cool little tree house. Check it out. Um, I think I saw a rope coil. Yeah, let's make a rope coil. I've got tons of rope, man. We can make like a proper treehouse here. Check it out. I'm going to chuck the rope over. Huh? No, oh, no, that was that was cute, but but wrong. Okay, there we go. Looking good. And now if you go down. Yes. The, yes. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Nice. And check it out, man. We've got these beautiful sunflowers growing directly outside of our little treehouse here. Isn't that cool? All right. We need to get this little house, though, ready for Wyatt to move in. So, we need to just get rid of all this dirt. Let's just... Oh, there we go. Now it's looking beautiful, right? There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Let's get rid of this rope, I think. And make for ourselves a door. Can we make a door? Mm-hmm. Let's make a door. I think I can actually... Yes, I can just place the door like this. Nice. All right, let's make a chair. We'll make a table... A table and a chair and Wyatt can, uh, you know, do some studying. Um, I, I'm not sure how smart he is, but let's hope that he is quite smart. Let's make some wooden walls too. Oh, we can actually make stone walls. How much stone did I get? Oh, just two. No, nope. we're going to make the wooden walls. There we go. And be proud of me, guys. Be proud of me. Check it out. And press control. And uh, I'm going I'm to make these walls using the auto thingy. <laughs> how awesome is that? Auto thingy initiated. Wall created, house secured. Excellent. Let's have a look. Is this suitable for Wyatt the guide? Let's have a look. This housing is suitable. We made it. First day, guys. We made it and it's looking awesome. 